Hey everyone, a quick intro here since this is the first time we're posting an episode of our podcast Switch Statement here on YouTube. In case you haven't heard about it yet, Switch Statement is dedicated to discussing miscellaneous tech topics. The general format thus far has been to do a deep dive into a tech adjacent book and cover it week by week. As you'll hear in a moment, this is the eighth episode in our series on the art of game design by Jesse Shell. So if this topic interests you, I definitely recommend listening from the start on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, etc. All right, let's get into it. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Switch Statement Podcast. It's a podcast for investigations into miscellaneous tech topics. This is episode eight in our series on the art of game design by Jesse Shell. Hey, John, how are you doing? Hey, Matt, I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm excited um, about today's is... session. I feel like we got some crazy stuff lined up. Yeah, this is going to be a new experience for switch statement <laughs> listeners yeah whatever it's i was gonna say thkp listeners but that is the umbrella brand oh man now we're all just this... completely confusing things with our with all of our naming schemes dude i don't think we should hide the fact that uh switch statement is a thkp production <laughs> that is the oh. money overlord behind us yeah that's the dark shadowy organization Ooh. What does THKP want? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. World domination. All right. As the viewers, and they are viewers, presumably we're uploading this to YouTube, can tell we are using Tabletop Simulator today. Um, and these two people, purple and green, are, are locked in a mortal battle. But why are we here? Like, what is going on? Yeah, so we're going to attempt to prototype for our game and mm -hmm. i think this is a good place to start because it allows us to do some cool stuff we can add all sorts of crazy stuff to the world and we can quickly prototype and iterate on ideas yeah i mean so this is everything that jesse shell talked about we have an idea some of the risks we talked about last time were oh like maybe the game is like too annoying to play physically or we don't even know how the mechanics should work. And this is a way to, to investigate some of these mechanics and do some rapid iteration. So our goal, right. I think here is for us to come up with like a straw man set of rules and see if we can kind of start to play through a game. And obviously there's only two of us, so it'll, it'll be some like simulation, but, but yeah. So let's, let's so let's just, let's get into it. We, we did, do we want to put a box? I know you talked about having boxes. Um, yeah. So this was one thing, this was an idea where we just, we talked about the game being like a four by four grid of tiles, but maybe instead of just tiles, it's actual cubes. And this would be so that each cube, cubes have six spaces. And depending on how the gods interact with the game world, the cubes would flip to a new face. So for example, you might have a forest, but if the fire god burned the forest down, then you would have just plains or something. And then if the fire mm -hmm. god burned that down, then you would have a desert or something along those lines. Oh, interesting. Yeah, this is, I think we're misusing the... There's gotta be an arrange and, and I will comment as the viewers have probably determined, like we are not pros at, uh, at tabletop yep. simulator. We have no idea what we're doing. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. This is the big thing. And I like immediately want to go to the blender shortcuts. Oh man. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe which we should legit. Like... Should we just oh. do this in blender? Maybe. So this is what I was imagining. You have the, your four by four grid, maybe bigger. I don't know. We'll have to tinker with that. You have yeah. gods, 
that maybe live along like the sides of the grid. Yeah, maybe this is a god. Maybe this green dude is a god. So I imagine some gods could live in the game world itself. I'm not sure exactly how that would function, but like it, you could potentially move gods from tile to tile. And then if they're on a specific tile, like that would be where their power is invoked. And then players would have control over, let me bring some figurines in here. So players would have control over figures that also exist in the game world. And players would have certain abilities like, whoa, it's a music player. But like, for instance, a player might be able to build a house or we had discussed like a church, which I think would be cool. Let's, uh, I think let's try to scaffold out some, like some rules. Yeah. Like, I guess we should start with what does game setup look like? Yeah. So I think game setup you'd build the grid, perhaps it would be randomized. So maybe what you could do is like, each one of these is essentially a die. So you could roll each one of them and then keep faced up. Maybe that's annoying though. You have to roll 16 die. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it could be like a boggle. Yeah. I like that. So there's some where mechanism where you can roll them all at the same time. Yeah. So that sounds slightly difficult. You could just, there could just be a default, like a default starting setup. Yeah. I think, cause obviously you want balance. I'm imagining yes. a player might start in the corner and then another player might start in another corner or something. So the randomized dice might be a little weird because you might have situations that are really bad starting situations. So maybe having I mean, a rope set up. Yeah. That could be part of the fun though. Okay. And, and so you're saying, okay, let's say our, in our situation, there's one kind of God DM, and then there are two players. So do they like select, they pick like players, pick a color, pick a color token. Yeah. I think players would pick who they want to be color token. I don't think the color has any bearing on anything like everyone. Yeah. Let's start with that for right now. There's no special abilities right now. Yeah. So this might be, and then let's just change the color, the gods. So let's say for right now, so we're saying four, there's four gods. Yeah. Why don't we just pick an arbitrary number? Four sounds good. There's four, four sides. Okay. And then there's like a default de defined starting position. Yeah. That okay. sounds natural to me. And, but it is interesting because it sounds like they have like their elements that have unique effects. I like that. I like fire God, maybe a water God. You could potentially have a Gaia God or something Ooh. who has the ability to like create animals or something along those lines. Um, oh, interesting. Okay. We, so you said like a water God, a fire God. We said Gaia God. Yeah, maybe and I'm just tossing ideas out, but we also had mentioned like a lightning God potentially that could strike down thunderbolts. Okay, so there's a lightning god, a water god, a fire god, and a Gaia god, which I like Gaia god. The idea that I liked for the gods the most is that they have, they actually have a position. There's just 16 positions around the outside. Is that right? 16, one, two, three, four by four. Yeah. Like they can be aligned on any of these, these columns. Can you see my cursor on your screen? I can, yeah. And I think I understand okay. what you're saying. I like it. So let's, let's just start to, let's start to set that up. Let's say now, was this one of the gods, this green guy? Yeah. This was when I was mentioning Gaia God. I don't know. Maybe Gaia would meander throughout the world and you could activate him and he would create like a cow or something. Maybe that's a resource. Okay. So a Gaia God doesn't do the, the, doesn't do the access or these like external orient or positioning yeah i feel like i'm complexifying things i think we can keep all the gods on the on the external spaces for now and just see how that works out because yeah. a god meandering in the world is a, a bit of additional complexity that okay i i agree with i i think we'll we can get there and i think that's a really cool i almost think that potentially is maybe that would be like a spirit or something like 
it's a different thing just to keep it clear nice. um okay so these are our gods so let's say yeah okay that's good we all they all have these these orientations so let's say okay i'm just gonna put this one okay let me just okay grab all right i'm gonna put this one here scale them down a little bit i don't know just to randomize it a little bit okay and so which which god is which this is let's i'm gonna make this one yellow and this will be this will be like a this will be the lightning god lightning okay i'll make this dude red he'll be fire okay and then this one can be blue okay which one which one's blue the, the line? griffin yeah or whatever that is okay oh it's a griffin and then what was the other one? Oh, this is the guy I got. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay. And so these are, I guess these are our player pieces. Oh, I see. I see what you're doing. So you're saying like some of these tiles are, what are the different tile values? Yeah. I don't know. Like I, I think, oh man, that's so annoying. Just like clicking it causes it to explode. Like we can start with just common values like we could have plains forest water maybe yeah desert uh, forest. Uh, what about like a volcano yeah i love that like a, kind of like that like basically just like fire tile yeah flame tile how many was that yeah it's hard because you you have to do some i guess you don't you could just make it an arbitrary like flame tile but and because I guess maybe what if the fire god touches, maybe there could just be two elements. Maybe it could just be like fire and water. And these are actually like continuums on the fire water spectrum. Yeah. Okay. So if you take a volcano tile and you add water, it becomes a desert tile. If you add water, it becomes a plains tile. If you add water, it becomes a forest tile. And if you add water, it becomes just like a river. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I wonder, I don't know, is there another tile that it should be? How many is that? That's five. I'm just thinking of six just because of a cube. Yeah. You could have one that's unused. That's we could have a uh, straight up ocean, like maybe a lake. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's a river and then a lake. I do like the like duality. Like that kind of feels nice in a way. Yeah. I like that too. So it's a river and then it's a lake. Just in, in complete ignorance of just like how physics works. Um, we don't need physics. We don't need physics, but this is cool because I feel like each one of these things could have, could be useful in different contexts. Like maybe you need a volcano to like smelt things and, oh. and make like different kinds of ore. Yes. I love that idea. And yeah, maybe like a lake tile can't be built upon because it's just water. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there's water and fire. Is lightning just like a chaos god? It's like a trickster god. It does surprising things. Yeah. So I'm thinking um, lightning could destroy structures potentially. Because yeah. we've talked about having structures and I, maybe that's like a big part of the game is trying to, like you just mentioned setting up a smelter, which I love. And so maybe each player is trying to reach certain like societal advancement stages. <laughs> And so they're building structures yeah. to achieve those, but the other player is trying to undermine that. Or I guess this is cooperative, so yeah, it doesn't really make sense, but. I like this fire water spectrum that tiles have. I feel like that kind of clarifies things. And it, it feels like a good mechanism. Right. I also like it because I had imagined the gods as ha their powers flowing outward. Yes. And lightning or water and fire just match that pattern really well what's cool is i feel like you can just ex imagine the way propagation works much more yeah. easily where it's okay if it starts from this tile like whatever it is when it touches it it bumps it in that direction by one. Ooh, okay huh maybe we could instead of having a lake we have something that's like wasteland and it can never come back from being the wasteland oh. and then that could be like a lose state i don't know just a proposal no um, i'd like that yeah because we i don't know if we have like a losing state right now well, maybe that's the next thing we can talk about is okay what does winning like how do you win the game and like conversely is there like ways to or lose early which i think like maybe if a certain number of your tiles become like wasteland 
than maybe you like insta lose. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe winning. All right. I'm just going to completely spitball here. This is a random idea. It might be terrible, yeah. but like maybe winning involves building like a monument to the gods, but in order to build the monument, you need to have resources. Like you, maybe you need to smelt a piece of metal. Maybe you need to get like glass mm -hmm. and the only way to get glass is to have lightning Ooh. strike a desert oh yes that, this was one thing i was saying is like i would want lightning to have an upside lightning is all bad thus far right. but i do like the idea that there's something that lightning is useful for yeah exactly um, i want yeah i definitely want all the god's powers to be like good and bad under different situations okay okay this is interesting what you're what you're alluding to is like you need to create you need to create some resources yeah okay i, I don't want to get too complicated right now but it's like the next thing that comes to mind is maybe there's a couple of different monuments and you need to figure out which one you want to shoot for based on the initial condition oh i really like this I, that maybe makes it easier for a randomized board what do we think the possible like inputs to a monument could be. I like what you said about glass should be very difficult to make. Maybe some of them require steel. Yes. Yeah. Um, steel, which has to be smelted at a volcano. I love that. Okay. So there's maybe there is iron, which is like slightly less, like the requirements are less intense. Right. Wood maybe. Cause so we, we talked about, cause obviously there's like the forest. So maybe in certain ones, you just need like a shit ton of wood. Yeah. Like, like maybe there's one where like, the it's easy to get what you need for it but you need a lot of it it could still be risky to go for it because you know if something interrupts your wood production then you know you're just not going to make enough do we want like a turn limit maybe like, i would like to avoid the game going on forever like yeah i like games where there's sort of this like intensity which just builds maybe the lightning god or maybe all the gods just become more and more active and the world eventually just crumbles. All the tiles come become the horrible tile. Okay. Yeah. I, I do like the idea that they get restless. Yeah. Like if you're not making enough progress towards like building the temple, like they, they just start becoming like very erratic. Right. It sounds very in character for a god before we move on we have glass we have steel we have iron we have wood and then glass requires so the glass requires like a god or okay so lightning god strikes desert okay how how do you get steel i guess maybe you need to take iron and then do you take iron to a volcano yeah i think so i think maybe like tiles produce resources so let's let me create like a wood resource here but maybe only when you're on when a person is on that tile yeah maybe yeah maybe the person needs to cultivate it or whatever or just... yeah okay so it's like person plus like person plus forest equals wood okay and maybe you would this. need to so, activate, yeah, like I'm, I imagine some resources might require a God to produce yes. them. So maybe Gaia, like you'd need to activate Gaia in order to like produce the wood or something. I think the ones, I think the one, those are going to be the ones that are more inconsistent to create like glass, for example, like you literally need the lightning God to strike the desert yeah. in order to produce glass. So would you need to be on um, the tile? as well i it's interesting because we haven't really gotten into what the prayer mechanism looks like but maybe that's how it works like maybe you pray oh gosh you could imagine like your person dying should your person die and be turned into all right sorry this is like maybe a course macabre. but it's almost like a like a sacrifice you need to like sacrifice one of your players because we talked about the ability to like reproduce yeah. But okay, I think it should just be if the lightning god strikes a desert tile, regardless of your presence or absence, it will 
Like, I think if a lightning god strikes a tile, like, anyone who's on that tile should die, I think. Yeah, I'm a fan of right? that. I like the idea of death. I also like the idea that maybe a tile could produce a resource, Ooh. and then you'd have to go pick it up. I like the idea that's an easy lose state. Everybody dies. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah, and maybe um, you die under a bunch of different conditions, like not just lightning. Because I can imagine you could die in a volcano yes. or you could die at a lake. And obviously the fire, like, I think any of the actions of the gods w should kill a person who's on that tile. I don't know, maybe that's... Yeah, answer. no, I also like that. I think the game should be difficult. Not like super difficult, but losing should be... Maybe if you play 100 games, you might lose like 20% of the games. So I think... I'm fine with having a lot of different scenarios where players are dying. One thing we talked about is like that the gods might actually have a couple of different spells. Let's say the, this water god call, casts yeah. blood. What this is going to do is it's going to be like, boom, water, boom, water, boom. It's like waterify, 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 waterify. And then that's like for the next four turns, like that's going to happen. If you're on one of the tiles that gets waterified, I don't think you should die. That just doesn't seem... Right. But let's say, let's say the God casts like torrent and then maybe that jumps one tile to two dimensions on the, along the spectrum. Yes. If you're on that tile, like you should right. die. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love that. I also love the idea of maybe the normal water spell like percolates slowly. Like maybe it actually takes a few turns to like finally finish. And players have the opportunity to maybe get away from it. But if you do leave a player in the path, like that player dies. I feel like this has really helped to crystallize some of the ideas. Actually, I feel like recipes is actually a very powerful concept. Like you have a recipe for glass and the, the reagents are, well, nothing, and, or, you know, Okay, let me try to articulate what I mean, and then we don't need to, like, spend all of our time thinking about all the recipes we want. But it's like, a recipe is optionally a... Maybe every recipe needs to take place on a particular yeah. tile. Or range of tiles. Okay, it has a maybe. location. Okay, yeah, I, I think that's fair. Required tile type. It has like reagents, and then I guess that's it, right? Oh, and then optionally a god action. Do we want to have to build a building in order to make certain things? Oh, I see. So maybe you we mentioned have a, like having this. Maybe you have maybe yeah, a building. like a smithy on the volcano tile. Oh, okay. That is interesting because um, I feel like that creates this mechanic where you want to protect certain tiles and like prevent them from shifting. So if the water god is trying to hit a volcano tile that has your smithy on it, you mu there might be some form of intervention where you can prevent it. This is interesting. Okay, so we have this, it sounds like we're talking about this idea of a building. And so some buildings might require a, a tile right. type. So maybe, may, so let's say maybe you do want to protect a building. Maybe the only way to do that is to pray to the fire. Let's say, okay, you, let's say a smithy can only be on the volcano. Yeah. And you have a flood that's coming towards your smithy, you may just need to pray to the fire god at the right time to like cancel yes, that action. Exactly. Out. I love that. So, yeah, maybe prayer would build up like a prayer resource, and then you could spend that resource to like prevent what yeah. you can prevent one tile from being influenced by some godly power. Um, very cool. I mean, I think the one thing that we still don't have is, is like what it feels like to play, like yeah, the play testing right. essentially. And I think we also just needed to spend some time coming up with these like reagent recipes and like yeah. the building. Yeah, no, this works super well for kind of the high level prototyping and iterating quickly on ideas. So I think this was pretty awesome. So I think we can, we can wrap up there. So hopefully this was, I don't know. I know that I found this very useful. Yeah. Next time we're going to be going back to the book, but, but yeah, and that these chapters are all about yes. mechanics, right? Yeah. So I think these chapters will help us with these nitty gritty 
mechanical details, and then maybe we can have another session like this where we discuss the mechanics in more detail and flesh them out. And maybe we can get some other other people to, to play it for reals. Yeah, we need someone to be the gods. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's wrap it up there. We will see you all next time on uh, Switch Shaman. All right, see you, Matt.